I want to say a bit about simplifying your life because our brains are not really designed for multitasking and they're not designed for having a whole list of jobs. They're designed to do one thing at a time. So if you can simplify your life, it will make you happier. So the first thing is try to finish more jobs than you start. I'm terrible about this. I've got to admit, I keep generating more and more ideas, but it does feel good when you get closure on something. So try to get closure on most of your projects. If you can only have one project on the go at a time, that would be ideal ideal. You've probably got to have two or three, but don't have too many because the more projects you have, the more stress you will have and the less happiness. Try to get rid of all loose ends, particularly if they're stressing you. So if there's somebody you need to phone or something you're putting off, then get all those loose ends closed off if you can. And then your physical environment is similar. So throw stuff away from your house. The more minimalist you can make your house, the better. Or at least tidy things up, put them away in boxes. Out of sight is out of mind. I absolutely love the book by Marie Kondo. I think it was called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And I think that's a brilliant book. Even if you think that tidying up's got nothing to do with you, I would urge you to read that book because it's really quite philosophical. And she says, if it doesn't bring you joy, throw it away. And I think that's really interesting, isn't it? If you've got some old pair of shoes that you love, keep them. If you've got some old pair of shoes that actually they don't bring you joy, get rid of them. I remember watching one of her videos and she she's rolling up pairs of pants and putting them in this drawer in the bedroom. And when they're all neatly rolled up and they're in there as a line, because one of her rules is you don't put things on top of things because then you don't know what's under there. You have them all in a line of rolled up ones. When she's finished, she goes, and you can see she gets this amazing joy just from rolling up pants. So the point is, if your environment is really neat and tidy and organized and everything has a place and everything is in its right place, I think that's a really good foundation for feeling happiness. You can get happiness even from that first act of doing it, but then you can build on that and you can do all the other stuff that you want to do without having the stress of not being able to find a pair of pants. So I really would urge you to read Marie Kondo's book or watch some of her videos and to get your living and working environment as neat and tidy as you can. It is a component of happiness for sure.